my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Just playing around with a couple of modes over the same uh, A in the bottom, just so you can hear how differently they sound. Because sometimes you can say, oh, that doesn't sound too different. What's the difference between an Aeolian and a Dorian? And if you do it in this way, you can really, whoa, you hear the change when you when you keep that same note in the, in the, in the bottom and then play all kinds of modes on top of it. I just had a comment that said, uh, you know, the old classic one if you if, that said Klaus is not really a musician because he teaches you the bits and bytes and the technique and the up and down and the, how you should practice and blah, 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 blah. And that's what m not what music is about. Music is about feeling, right? But that's, you know, you know the idiotic argument, like if you look at a carpenter and tell him that, you know, carpentry is not about the ins and outs and the ups and downs and the tools and the things. It's about you know, the feeling of the chair, the impression I get, the aesthetics of it, that's what it's about. And he would say, are you an idiot? You know, you have to learn the craft before you can get to any of these things, right? Of course. So why would you not focus intensely on learning the craft so you can get to the feeling, right? And it also, there's a huge misunderstanding that, you know, some people say, as I've been talking about before, that if you learn to play fast, then you can't play with feeling anymore because all you want to do is just ah, go shred, right? And that's, of course, idiotic, too. If you become too good at building houses, then all, all of a sudden you can only build skyscrapers and they'll all be ugly. How does that make sense, right? But just think of a guy like Jeff Beck. Just listen to his music. No, he's not, a, he, he doesn't, he's not shredding a lot of notes all the time. But that, you know, learn his technique, right? If you say that, 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 you know, into the bits and bytes, and you think that Jeff Beck is only into emotion, right? He's one of the most skilled guitar players out there. And he has a, you know, he, he favorites, uh, you know, music that is kind of mellow sometimes, and he, he controls his tone like nobody else, and his volume knob, and his vibrato, and the way he chooses the, either to hammer on or pick the note and everything. That is pure skill, pure craftsmanship. <laughs> you know, and so to say that, oh, that's just the bits and bytes, you are deluding yourself, basically. And the reason why I'm talking, because I know everybody who, who's really watching my videos will just agree with me on this. That's why you're watching my videos, right? But, but it's just a pitfall. And we need to always be very, because we're walking in the narrow path, right? <laughs> Biblical stuff. And we need to make sure that we don't fall into any pitfalls along the way to absolute mastery, right? Uh, and one of the pitfalls is falling into that, yeah, I don't like these berries because I can't reach for them, right? They're, they're, they're not, you know, not that I don't like them, but they're, they're, not, they're not worth anything. We, we don't want to fall into that pitfall. We don't want to fall into the pitfall of being obsessed about gear to the point where we forget to practice and that we forget the, the actual core of playing music, right? Gear is cool. I love it. But each time I get, you know, too caught up in it, I always ask myself, okay, what goal could I set forth? And then I could practice to that point, and then I would deserve that instrument. And then I would go into the shop and say, I want to spend 2,000 bucks on that instrument. And I do that with a pure heart because I just practiced X and I just achieved X, right? So, so things are, that's my little cure for that pitfall. Uh, other pitfalls like, you know, getting all involved so much in theory that you forget about what, why the heck you were involved in it in the first place. You wanted to learn to play better solos, and so you looked into theory, and then suddenly you do nothing else but just look at the intervals and the basic, and suddenly it's all irrelevant to what you actually wanted to do. Another pitfall, right? Another pitfall is to be, you know, you get, you get the significance of actually achieving something, and people say, wow, you're good at that. And so you get so used to feeling good about being good that you don't want to move into the zone where you, you're not good anymore. You don't want to be a beginner again. You don't want to play something that make you sound like you, you, you don't know what you're doing. And that's the end of you. That's the end of development. And then you just stay in your little zone of what you can do and you don't understand why you never develop anymore. Right? That's another pitfall.
because you get so comfortable with being good. I remember, you know, practicing a piece, playing the I arranged God the Godfather theme for my guitar, and I started practicing it stubbornly. And you know, and my my girlfriend said, "Why why are you sounding like a complete beginner again suddenly? I thought you were a good guitar player." And I could make, I could feel the sting of that. Ooh, that was that was not good, right? But that's the pain you have to take in order to move to even greater heights, right? But so you have, we have to be aware of the pitfalls. And one of them is that, you know, feeling stuff, right? Just remember Jeff Beck. And if there's anybody who can make me go, oh, right? <laughs> when we're talking about those mellow feelings anyway, it's Jeff Beck. And he's, the, he's one of the bam up there, right? He's just not playing fast a lot, right? So, um, and I should just say before I go that, you know, playing ultra fast, aggressively, like in metal, that's also a feeling. It's just not the mellow kind of sentimental thing, right? It's bam in there. And some of us don't like that, right? So, so uh, we don't want to go there. Uh, some of us do. <laughs> but um, that's it. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.